What's up, y'all? Welcome to not another episode of the Bhangra Podcast, but actually the first ever annual Bhangra Awards. <laughs> and in all seriousness, the reason why I started doing this is because, you know, at the end of every season, back in BTF days, there would be a thread at the end of every season where people would give out their superlatives. They would talk about their favorite mix, their favorite dancers, their favorite sets, all of those different things. And it would spark a lot of conversation, and people would just have a lot of fun talking about it. And I, that's just the kind of environment I wanted to create within the circuit now. And boy, did y'all have a lot of fun with it. 710 individual responses were submitted over the course of the three weeks. And for those who missed out on the nomination or the voting process, be sure to subscribe so that you get the notification for next year's vote. And for the winners, I made these really nice trophies. I got the tops laser cut, and I put a lot of effort into making these, and I really do hope you guys enjoy them. I know that this isn't really a real comp or anything. This is just some stupid award show run by a podcast, but I really do hope you'll at least appreciate them. Anyways, for transparency's sake, here is the whole nomination process and the voting process. If you were a judge during the past season, or you were a team that competed during the past season, you were allowed to nominate three individuals or teams for each category. The top four nominees of each of those categories then moved on to the public vote where everybody was allowed one vote per person. Seven. Apologies to my Aussie fans. I did have you guys included in the original nomination vote, but everybody just nominated base, so I just kind of axed the whole category. Congratulations, base, you're the best Australian team. Anyways, let's move on to our first category, the best run competition. The best competition went to the competition that was deemed the best run by the circuit. From organization day of show to having this rubric sent out to teams well in advance. The nominees for best run competition are Bunger the Alamo from San Antonio, Bunger the Berg from Pittsburgh, Vibe from San Francisco, and Nutch de Cleveland from Cleveland. And before I announce the winners of the best run competition, I do also want to plug the Bunger Podcast's new Bunger database. In relation to competitions, we have created a brand new form where you can list your competition, where it is, when it is when your registration deadline is, your registration packet, how much your registration costs, your website, your Instagram, and all other forms of information all in one place so that every team can go to one location and figure out whether they can want to apply for your competition. If you haven't already, be sure to go to the link in the description box and be sure to fill out that form. And the winner for the best run competition, Dole Roll Please. Bungarat the Alamo. Honestly, to me, this wasn't really a surprise. They had rave reviews from the past season, and the team at Alamo is absolutely fantastic. They know what they're talking about. They're a competition run by a very talented Bhangra team. It's no surprise that they won this award. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, moving on to probably the most hated category. So this year, like every year, everyone loves to yell at the judges. So I want to create an opportunity for at least one moment to honor some of the judges that, for the most part, are well-liked. I personally believe that all the judges on this list are well-qualified, their Bhangra knowledge is fantastic, their pedigree is phenomenal, and in all honesty, they all are well-qualified to judge and should, are able to judge any competition. And the nominees are Sid Fundit, Simran Lali, Anul Kundal, and Kundal Shah. And before I announce the winner, I do once again want to plug the Bunger directory. In the Bunger directory, there is a judges database. If you're a judge, you can go there to fill out a form where you fill in various different details about your competitive experience. We want to make it easier for competitions to find good judges, but then also make it easier for newer judges to get their name out in the first place. And the winner for the best Bunger judge is Simran Lali. Congratulations, Simran. Honestly, I had no idea who was going to win this category, but I'm not super surprised that Simran snagged it. She has been a fantastic judge, being consistent in her feedback and her scorings that at all the competitions I've seen her judge. She's able to articulate her explanations and back up all her scores at every single podcast I've recorded with her, and I just want to give a hats off to Simran. <laughs> Moving on to the best mix. Mixes often make or break any performance on set. They breathe life into every single movement on stage. It's a long way of saying, pay your mixers. They probably played a huge role in placing at your competition. So the nominees are Surme at Pangaran the Berg by Mixman. You in the mix with Mix Marne. Portilla Shaquin at Pangara at the Alamo by Teg Han. Garu Bulaborge at Bruin Pangara by Legitimate. 
and shared on the poem at Purun Pangra by Juicy Dave. Juicy. And the winner of Best Mix goes to SDK at Purun Pangra by Juicy Dave. Juicy. All these mixes were phenomenal and mixed by amazing talents. They have worked long hours to hone their craft and also probably spent a long time waiting for their computer to reboot after their DAW crashed. Davim is one of those mixers whose tag you literally cannot escape. It seems like he's mixing for half the East Coast at certain times. He is a great talent and I can't wait to see what kind of sonic bags he's making this. All right, crossing a few different time zones to reach out to the UK circuit. I wanted to at least make an attempt to make sure this wasn't a completely North American facing show. Especially since America and Canada have been mining every single UK performance for brand new ideas. Honestly, it would be absolutely criminal not to recognize some of the amazing ideas and concepts coming out from our colonial counterparts. And the nominees for best UK team are Basta Punjab, King's College London, Anki Jawan, and Gabru Furtile. And the winner of best Basta Punjab. So we all knew. They've won for the past few years and are able to put some of the most mind-blowing ideas and concepts of stage and, and formation that I have ever seen. There is no higher praise I can heap on a team in terms of set creation than these guys. If you want to get an inkling of their set creation process and how they bring some of these ideas to life, be sure to watch the video I did with some of the captains of Bust Up and Job where we're breaking down one of the segments for their first place winning sets. All right, and now we're coming back to this side of the Atlantic. By the looks of the polling, it was extremely close. And the nominees for Best North American Team are Jardi Jawani, Surme, Gavru Gulaborke, and Mashti Jawani. And the winner of Best North American Team is Surme. Congratulations. Just barely edging out the second place team. However, I'm not too shocked. Their win at Berg over SPD stamped them to be in the conversation for arguably the best Bangra teams, period. With strong dancers, strong set design, and overall fantastic attitude when going out on stage, it is hard to argue that they didn't deserve a dub. Congratulations. Not gonna lie, this is basically the same crew rounding out the best North American team. But this vote, again, was extremely close. I'm talking less than 10 votes separating first and second. And so the nominees for best independent team are Surme, Gabru Gulaborge, Furtile Shatin, and Mashti Javani. And the winner for the best independent team is Gabru Gulaborge. Congratulations, GGW. After a pretty rough early start to the season, probably biting off a little more than they could chew initially, they were able to regroup and take some of the lessons that they learned and put them all towards a single-minded, focused goal of winning arguably the largest Bhangra competition of the year at Bruin. I cannot wait to see what ideas they're going to bring this upcoming season. Congratulations to the GW. I was absolutely stoked to see all these teams in this category. Every single one of these teams put on absolutely fantastic performances, and I was really excited to see the results for this vote, mainly because all these teams did not compete at one competition this year. So it would be exciting to see who would win. So the nominees for the best collegiate team are Virginia Tech Pangra, Maryland Pangra, Davis Pangra Crew, and First Class Pangra. And the winner for best collegiate team goes to First class Florida. Congratulations to FCD. Well, yeah, obviously I'm biased, but I'm pretty stoked to see this result and I can't wait to see what we bring up next. Live Bhangra is a completely different style of Bhangra compared to music. It requires a singer, a doli, the other instrumentalists, all working together with the dancers to put on a performance like no other. As a former live dancer, I can tell you that dancing live is unlike any experience you'll experience while dancing to a music set. So I'm excited to announce the nominees for the best live performance are Jardi Jawani at Vibe, SICA Nawanshahar at Bhangra Arena, Punjabi Lok Nath Academy at Flower City Pongra and Basta Punjab at Flower City Pongra. And the winner of the best live performance is Jardi Jawani at Bai. Congratulations. I have been a huge fan of CJ for a really long time. In my opinion, they have some of the strongest dancers in the circuit. They just danced so wide and so powerfully, and that dancing caliber was on full display when they went live. It was an absolute masterclass on form, and I highly recommend anybody who is trying to improve their form to go watch that performance and take notes. Congratulations again to CJ. All right, this is gonna get heated. 
I don't want any of the smoke. Go out of the comments, go out in the Discord. I don't care, don't yell at me. You guys are the ones who voted. The nominees for best music performance are Surme at Pangra and the Bird, Pratila Shakin at Pangra the Alamo, Gabu Gala Borge at Burn Pangra, and Vasta Punjab at World Class Pangra. Surme beat SPD. Vasta is putting some of the most amazing ideas to stage I've ever seen. According to an Alamo judge, Furtila's performance at Bangarati Alamo could have beaten Surme at Berg. And GGW won Bruin. Regardless of what you want to say, all of these performances are undeniably fantastic and have proven their worth. But there is only one winner. And the winner for best music performance goes to... Gabru I've already talked about GGW in a previous category, so I don't want to repeat myself too much. Y'all took Bruin to a brand new level in terms of what is even possible. And it was a sight to see. Well deserved, congratulations. These four dancers are all leaders on stellar teams that have been heavily nominated in previous categories. It is hard to be a leader on any team and still continue to put out amazing performances because all your time is spent on set design or captaining and less on your actual performances. The nominees for the best male dancers are Brabman from Sharki Joani, Karan Randawa from Sierra Mikong, Navjot Pabla from Sudan, Kibrar from Gabru Galaburke. And the winner for Best Male Dancer is Karan Randawa. Congratulations, Karan. Congratulations, this year has been an absolutely phenomenal year for you and your team. SDK this year has gone on to win Vive and also get second place at Bruin, the first time competing there. That is no small feat. Congratulations. All right, let's just start with the elephant in the room. GGW kind of cleaned house this year. What the heck? Three out of the four nominees for this category all come from GGW. That alone is an amazing accomplishment. Congratulations to GGW solely for that. All right, and so the nominees for Best Female Dancers are Ample Kaur from Gabru Dalaburge and Alamo City Pongra, Kirat Ra from Gabru Dalaburge, Priya Gundavadala from Gabru Dalaburge and Virginia Tech Pongra, and Shilpa Vardy from Nuff the Dragons and Sheran the Gom. And the winner for Best Female Dancer is Kirat Ra. Congratulations, Kirat. I, I'll be honest, I was following this vote the entire time super closely because I kind of knew it was going to be between Ample and Akira the entire time and it was just going back and forth, back and forth. These two are brought up in every conversation about who is the best dancer in the circuit and well deservedly so. They have continuously put amazing performances on stage throughout the years and they are phenomenal on every stage that they perform on. Congratulations Akira, well deserved. All right, and that is our show. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Bangarach podcast for more Bangarach content. I hope y'all like this whole thing. I just wanted to create something new for the whole circuit to take part in and talk about rather than just doing another judges podcast. This circuit is full of amazing talent and it should be recognized. And this is just my small way of doing that. All right, peace.